let's get started with this holiday tutorial. I really didn't know which palette I wanted to use. I have all of these and couldn't make up my mind. But I finally decided that by popular demand, um, I was going to try and use the Kat Von D Saint and Sinner palette. So I am taking the shade Amen and applying this as my brow highlight and I'm just really like tapping it in not really blending it out because once I apply the transition it'll blend out on its own I'm taking the shade martyr from the palette and I'm using this as my transition color wanted to warm it up a, a bit and I really like the tone of this color so I'm going to just apply this all over my crease area until I'm happy with the intensity. The next shade I'm going to use is the shade Crucifix, which is this um, kind of like a cool tone dark brown shade. And I'm going to apply this kind of over the top of that transition shade um, to just deepen, deepen up the crease area. And I'm not I'm not worrying about being neat because I am going to do a cut crease so I'm just making sure that it's all blended out I'm using the same um, same thing I used to prime my eyes um, the Mac painter paint pot in soft ochre and I'm using this to cut my crease now what I realized that I had been doing in the past when I was cutting my creases I was actually following my own um, like crease area and it was just making my eyes look a bit smaller it's just my preference so I decided to extend and open it up a little bit more and I liked how this um, looks and it's just in the inner corner um, opening it a little bit wider to give the effect of bigger eyes once that's done I'm going to go in with the shade chalice it's a really pretty like moss green color I'm applying it with um, with a with some fix plus and um, and it's a really pretty like metallic mossy green shade it's really really pretty I wanted to use this um, on the lid and then then to add a little bit of color I'm taking the shade vestment from the palette and this is also a shimmery um, kind of like teal shade here I'm gonna use this shade to intensify it in the other uh, outer corner and then I'm going to gradually bring it um, over the lid to blend it out and make it look seamless get yeah, blending it on to the other color Now I'm taking the black shade Sabbath with on this like pencil brush. I am just um, really mapping out the outer V and then I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush and blend that out. I'm also dragging it all to that crease area. Just it it just adds more depth into that cut crease and I'm just being really really careful um, to go over that um, crease area and then blending that out with the with the fluffy brush the um, crease color brush just to blend it out and um, blend out any harsh lines Now I'm taking that fluffy brush that I mentioned with some more um, Sabbath on it and just really concentrating it onto that outer V just to deepen it out. Once I'm happy with the intensity, I'm going to go over it with that same teal shade vestment and deepen that shade up um, because I wanted to make sure that that teal still popped. I felt like the that martyr crease color shade was kind of um, had faded out so I just went in with the pencil brush went over it again and then using that same crease 
uh, fluffy brush I just went over it to make sure that it's all blended out now using the same brush that I used that amen um, shade uh, I didn't go in with any more product I'm kind of using this as kind of like an eraser um, making sure that um, everything is cleaned around the edges I'm taking this uh, gel liner from Inglot and I am using this as my liner um, I do like this this gel liner because it is pretty matte and intense intensely um, black I just don't like that the tip isn't that precise so I do go in with the um, NYX matte liner to for the more detailed precise wing the tail of the of the liner now I'm taking the absolution shade which is the transformer shade on a wet brush and I'm just applying this as a like the inner corner kind of like highlight um, it's kind of transitioning into the other shade I could have applied this um, all over it actually added a really good like shimmer like gold reflex to it um, but I just kept it in in that inner portion of the eye it was really really pretty and then I'm going to take off all the baking I did to prevent any fallout from ruining the rest of my makeup I'm taking the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter and I'm also on a wet brush. I am applying this as my inner corner, kind of blending that out in the inner corner. I'm taking Sabbath onto a pencil brush and I'm just keeping it really plain in the bottom lash line. But then I realized that I wanted to kind of deepen that up. I'm taking that fluffy brush to blend the edges out and then I'm also going to take the fluffy brush with no more product on it the crease color and just blending that out under under the eye but I realized that um, it needed something just to tie it the whole look together I needed to darken it up so I did go in with a pencil um, liner and it's the makeup forever aqua liner and then I'm just going over with the same shade to buff that out and kind of set that um that liner I'm going in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara just to lightly coat my um lashes before I go in with the um the lashes I put on are the Ardell Glamour Wispies. I finished off this look with the Kat Von D Lolita Everlasting Lip Good Lip and that completes this look. I really hope that you enjoyed this holiday look tutorial. Um, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I will see you next time. Bye!